Okay, dear students, let us see how to do this question. A spring loaded with mass m oscillates with simple harmonic motion. So there is this spring mass system and it is given that it is moving in simple harmonic motion. The amplitude of the motion is capital A and the spring has the total energy of capital E. What is the total energy of the spring when the mass is increased to 3m and the amplitude is increased to 2a? So it's a fairly simple question but the problem is we must know like which formula are we going to use here. As per the description of this question is concerned, it's very easy. There is only this one spring and there is this one mass there. This is K and this is M. So this body is now moving. So the amplitude is given as A. Fine. So let us first of all do it and then I will tell you like what is the general mistake that students do in this question. So I am going to use this formula for the potential energy, like the potential energy, elastic potential energy stored in a spring is given by Kx square, where x is the extension or the compression in the spring. This formula is given in your former booklet, I think in topic 4, so you have to check it. So this potential energy is half Kx square. Now, if we talk about the extreme position, like we know that mechanical energy is conserved so the total energy is equal to the maximum potential energy at extreme positions and it is equal to the maximum kinetic energy at mean position. So if you are considering only mean position, there is no potential energy. So all of the energy, the all total energy is converted into kinetic and when we talk about extreme positions, all of the energy, total energy is converted into potential because the kinetic is zero. So we can use either formulation, Just we are just using the concept here. So if the amplitude is A, I can always say that the total energy, that is the maximum potential energy at the extreme position will be half K A square. K is a spring constant which will remain constant throughout and half is constant so it only depends upon the amplitude and not on the mass and only and only amplitude will be there. So what is the total energy now in the second case? The total energy is this, so 2 we have taken common, it will become half k a square. I have just separated this 2, 2 square, it becomes 4. And this thing I just substituted here, so it means that the total energy now is 4 times the earlier total energy. Now earlier the total energy was given by capital E, so in this case it becomes 4 e. So this is the correct answer. Now, let us uh, check it from the uh, mark scheme also. Yes, you can see the answer given is B. Now, one thing more. I am going to tell you like uh, what is the big mistake that students generally do here. Because there is one more formula uh, and that formula is for in the case of energy. Okay. In the case of energy, that formula is half m a square omega square. You might be thinking that why can't we use this formula because this formula is also given in the formula booklet. So why can't we use this formula instead? And if we use this formula, you will say that mass is now 3 times and amplitude is 2 times. So it becomes 4 into 3 that is 12. So might be that all the students getting the answer is 12e for majority of the students. But that is not right. Why? We can use such formulas only if all other variables are constant. Like this mass and a but are you sure that omega is constant let us see omega can be taken as uh, 2 pi divided by capital t so it will be 2 pi and um, capital t will be uh, just getting confused just a moment t is 2 pi root of m by k so you can see here the time period is dependent on mass and omega depends on time. So it means omega is not constant. It in turn, it is dependent on the mass. More is the mass, more becomes uh, the velocity and lesser becomes the time. So that is why we can't use this formula because they are interrelated. That is why we have to go for simple formula like this. So this formula we cannot use because omega is dependent on m. 
इज दट राइट ऑल दी बेस्ट